face without panic the reality of our time, the fact that atom bombs may someday be dropped on our city. And let us prepare for survival, understanding the weapon that threatens us. Chatter bait up. Freaking giant. Barely had him hooked, too. There we go. Freaking beast. We're going to release. Man. 17 inches. Giant on a chatterbait. Giant on a chatterbait. <laughs> uh, talk to you guys a little bit about what I'm using here. I'm throwing a chatterbait, as you can tell. That's a regular bladed jig. Um, the key to this uh, setup right here is that swim bait. It's a doomsday tackle, little boy, and this thing is serious business. I got the uh, minnow color, kind of like a smoke black and white with white flakes inside of it. Got that big paddle tail, sending a lot of vibration through the water, a lot of thump. And I got it set up right here on this beautiful rod right here. So also, it's a doomsday tackle, seven foot 10 crankbait rod. Um, it's a beast. Um, super light. You got that nice antique uh, paint job to it. Uh, very soft tip, meaty backbone. Really nice rod. And I got it paired up here with a Daiwa Tattoola. I'm throwing it on a 5 4 gear ratio. And I'm explaining to you guys why I'm doing that. And I'm throwing it on fluorocarbon 12 pound test. The reason why I like to throw this setup and I'm so successful with it, all the fish I catch lately this year has been on this exact setup and the reason why. When I'm when I'm moving, when I'm, I'm sorry, when I'm throwing reaction baits, any type of moving baits, and I'm using like a 6-4 or 7 to 1 uh, gear ratio reels, I have them and I use them, but I tend to crank them too fast. I really like how I'm able to slow down with that 540 gear ratio. It really keeps that bait in the strike zone longer. I'm not zooming in past them. It give them time to react. And with that, uh, with that being said, on this um, chatter bait setup right here with that Doomsday Tackle little uh, little boy, it's 4.8 inches. You got a real body. Dispenses a lot of water. It's a killer. It's definitely it's a silent killer if you guys definitely trying to look into some doomsday tackle uh, products go to doomsdaytackle.com get yourself a doomsday tackle 47 series rod 710 medium heavy cranking right crankbait rod and um, also also get yourself uh, I'm still pumped up guys sorry about that definitely and get you guys um, some soft plates, some soft baits, and that's one bait is phenomenal. But I'm gonna get back here to fish and see if I can come up on some more giants like that one. Freaking toe! 
Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rodney Hicks here, Doomsday Tackle Pro Staff member. I just want to take a second of your time to show you some new and exclusive things coming from Doomsday Tackle that's already out for the public. So I'm going to start off with the swim bait here. It's a 4.8 inch swim bait. You can put it on a chatter bait like I have, or you can rig it up by itself. It's very versatile. So this is a minnow color. It's called the Little Boy. It's 4.8 inches in length. Big huge paddle tail on there, going to get his bed a lot of thump, going to give a lot of vibration. You see the ribs coming down the back of it, it's going to dispense a lot of water as well. I ain't been killing them on this cherry bait combination. And let me explain to you why I've been doing that. So I got a 7 foot 10 medium heavy action cranking bait, crank bait rod from Doomsday Tap when it's called a 47. This rod is so sensitive, it's really durable, it's light, it's everything you need to make those bum casts, to get that backbone right here. You see how fat it is back here, it's gonna give you that backbone, give you that shrimp, to really set that hook and really draft those fish home, get them in a boat. And I'm using it right here on a Daiwa Tatula, and it's, it's a 5.4 gear ratio, I'm sorry about that, on 12 pound test. Uh, fluorocarbon line now, a little bit back on the rod is cosmetically it's very very nice looking I mean you got the antique white with the red kind of look like your old school grandfather type of uh, rods here you got the stitched doomsday tackle logo at the bottom got your cork um, is that some basics on there? Everything on this rod is made by Fuji, so very high quality. Okay, you got your guides here with the Anconite inserts. Um, everything on here is Fuji, like I said. Um, it's spaced out for the KR concept. There you go. It's spaced out for the KR concept, man. It's going to really give you a lot more distance on your cast. Um, the real seat here is also the ECS. Fuji real seat. Everything on this rod is made to function. It's made to do its job. And that's why I'm telling you guys, I've been throwing this rod like crazy on this setup with the crane bait. I've been catching so many bass on it. So if you guys are interested, definitely head over to Doomsday Tackle website, pick you up a 47 rod, and pick you up some of those swim baits. It's going to be a killer. Thanks for listening. Riding the Yak 76, signing out. Let us face without panic the reality of our time, the fact that atom bombs may someday be dropped on our city. And let us prepare for survival, understanding the weapon that threatens us.